Today I'm reviewing the extremely popular Samsung Meteor Mic. At first glance, the Samsung Meteor Mic is almost a work of art. The base of the microphone is made from a beautifully machined aluminum billet with a cast metal grill to cover the recording surface. The legs of the microphone are also made from metal and are just to help the microphone adapt to different recording positions. And since the Meteor is built for portability, the legs neatly fold onto the body to leave a chunky cylindrical object that's easy to carry around in your laptop bag. The mic measures just under 4 inches when folded down. Samson also provides a cloth case to protect the microphone. And since the legs also double up as a stand, you don't need to lug around an additional tabletop mic stand unlike other USB mics. However, if you do want to mount it to a mic stand, Samson have machined a 5 8 inch standard female thread that'll work with any stand on the market. A very thoughtful touch. The Meteor is also available in three colors chrome, brushed nickel, and black. I have the chrome version, which has a beautiful mirror finish coating. I'll leave links to all three versions below. The machined base also has a mute button on the front with a volume adjustment knob for the headphone jack surrounding it. And the headphone jack to monitor the mic is on the back and is right above the mini USB port that connects it to a computer. So you can actually plug in your headphones and test your audio quality before hitting the record button. And as for the audio from the headphone jack, I did didn't notice any latency and it sounded almost instantaneous. Samson provides an unusually long 7 foot USB to mini USB cable which is also pretty useful, especially if you want to record away from your computer to reduce the impact of things like computer fans on your recording. The Samson Meteor Mic is a plug and play USB mic, so you don't need to install any drivers on your computer. As soon as you plug it into a Mac or PC, it's almost instantly recognized and is ready for use. You can also plug it into an iPad using the lightning to USB adapter and use it with something like GarageBand. In order to get the best performance out of the Meteor, adjusting your input gain is critical. In my tests today, I'm going to be recording directly into the Audacity recording software and I'll be adjusting my levels in the recording window. I highly recommend using Audacity because it's free software and also because it really works very well. However, you can also adjust the input gain through the audio settings on your computer. Now, the input gain setting you use will depend on where the mic is placed when you're recording. Most people will probably put it on their desk next to their computer and sit about 12 to 14 inches away from it. I've set my mic up this way with the recording surface tilted upwards to face my mouth and after quite a bit of testing I found that around 70% input gain is the best setting in this position and I'm going to read you a quote so you can hear how it sounds. When power leads man towards arrogance, poetry reminds him of his limitations limitations. When power narrows the area of man's concern, poetry reminds him of the richness and diversity of existence. When power corrupts, poetry cleanses. And this is a quote from John F. Kennedy. Now to juice the best audio quality out of this mic, I found that mounting it on a boom arm or mic stand and getting it closer to you seemed to work best. I have it mounted on a mic stand with a boom arm, as you can see here, and I have a pop filter in front of it to reduce the impact of plosives, and the mic is about four to five inches directly in front of my mouth. In case you're looking for a mic stand or boom mount that'll work with this microphone, I've left links to some below. In this recording position, you want to set the gain to 45%. You can always amplify it in Audacity after recording if you feel the levels aren't high enough. And I'm going to read you the same quote so you can hear how it sounds. When power leads man towards arrogance, poetry reminds him of his limitations. When power narrows the area of man's concern, poetry reminds him of the richness and diversity of existence. When power corrupts, poetry cleanses. So as you can probably tell, the quality of audio from this mic is pretty good, especially when it's mounted in a position close to you, like on a mic stand or boom arm. The audio is very crisp clear and there's very little background noise. Is it the absolute best mic on the planet? Absolutely not. But I really feel it's just the right combination of portability and audio quality. So if you're a person who travels a lot or has very little desk space, it's hard to find a better mic at this price. I've left a link to this microphone and some pop filters and mic stands that'll work with this microphone in the description below. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews. Thanks for watching and see you next time.